So last time, the two nerdiest kids in school got together. But now it's time to irrevocably ruin that story. Okay, yeah, you guys read the title. It's about to get real dumb! This is the time my friend stole my girlfriend. Ah, kinda. But uh, if you don't want him to steal your girlfriend, uh, subscribe. I don't, I don't know how that'll help you, but it'll help me. So yeah, subscribe. He will steal boyfriends and other SOs also. So just realize there's a there's a theme here in these videos where my friends in middle school kind of suck, I guess. Anyway, so Camille and I tried to like date at school, try to hold hands and spend time with each other, right? Adorable. But we never could. Yeah, like we were very shy. This is how our flirting would go. <laughs> Sometimes we get spicy and flirt a little more. Hi. Hey. Okay, have a nice day. You too. But most of the time. <laughs> and so we go home, go online. Um, we need to actually talk to each other at school. Yeah, how do we do that? No idea. Same. Yeah, we were, um, what you would call? Yeah, we were late bloomers, like really late, bloom in the fall. So one day, we end up talking to each other more in class for some reason. But that was only because there was another person around. Yeah, it was one of my friends, Chester. For some reason, you know, like having him there helped us kind of talk to each other more. You know, it was fun. It was actually fun. We were actually talking. But then, as time progressed, we'd hang out and go home together more. <laughs> as the three of us. And I could feel that Chester and Camille were getting closer and closer to each other. Like he was definitely overstepping some boundaries here. And so he stole her, right? Like she's an item without free will or something. Or maybe it was the other way around and she left me. Saw Chester was best and left. Bars. Nah, I mean something kind of worse happened. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so let me preface this. Kids, kind of dumb. Kid Victor, kinda dumb. I was a smart kid, but also kinda dumb. Okay, okay, enough beating around the bush. How did you mess this up, Victor? I bet you will never in a million years guess what it was. <laughs> so I see them and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. They look kinda good together. Hmm, shouldn't they go out with each other <laughs> instead? Now, okay, well, uh, granted, I really do not remember how I got to that specific thought. <sighs> but I did. So I was like, here you go. I'll be going now. See ya. <laughs> I can't justify it to you guys at all. We skipped a step here, and I really don't remember. <laughs> Real talk, maybe it was so traumatic, my mind erased the other details. Maybe the details were actually worse. Or better? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> yeah, and that's how my friend stole my girlfriend. Okay, I kind of gave her away, I guess. This is a weird story. It started out cute, and now we're here. Just to suffer. There, there's a lesson here, but I have no clue what it is. Okay, to be fair, he definitely overstepped some boundaries. Chester, kind of a cuck move, man. Okay, enough of these weird romance, uh, I don't know if that's true, stories. Next week is about a girl who was into biting. Me. That's it, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you every week Friday, at least until the end of 2022. Back in sixth grade, I had a crush on the nerdiest girl in our year, but unbeknownst to us. We may have had like a, like a little cute crush on each other, maybe. So of course, she kicked me in the balls. Oh.